Hey guys, today I'll be showing you guys how to make a blacklist command. Basically what it does is it blocks a user from using the bot. So yeah, let's get started. In today's video, we're going to use MongoDB. If you don't know what this is, make sure to watch. Make sure to watch the video uh, about how on how to set up MongoDB. Uh, I have weak Wi-Fi, so yeah. Okay, let's start with. Okay, let's make a schema. Let's make a schema. Just come out here on the main file. Make a category called models, and then inside there, you're gonna put. Yes. So this is gonna be the schema. So cons mongoose require mongoose. Then let's close to Folders, but I'm just gonna create one like this. Okay. So we're gonna do blacklist. Let's First, we're gonna take the schema. So cons blacklist to require models. There you want blacklist. So we're taking it from this form. Then we start. This is not required, but I'm just going to use it for parameters. Yes. Just gonna add parameters here. Uh, I'll just add some new. Okay, Parent. message. Message. Once again, this is not necessary. If you want to do it, you're sure. But if you don't want to do it, it's fine. Okay, so first we're gonna. Define user, cons user. We're gonna use ID so it's not gonna ping the blacklisted member. Message the people members. Dot hash. Dot hash. zero. Which is the first argument. Then if there is no user, return message. User is not valid. Then if the user is valid. It's gonna pass the checks blacklist dot find one. So we'll be storing it by ID, which is a string. So we're gonna do ID uh, user dot user dot ID. The reason we're doing user dot user because this is a member object. So if you want to convert member object to user object, you're gonna do dot user. Then we're gonna async. Error and data. If I throw error. If data. So if there's data, we're gonna say message channel send. Uh, user. The display name. Has already been blacklisted. The 
just gonna make this mold and then under there we're gonna, we're gonna make it else else so else if there is no data we're gonna create a new data so data dot new like this dot uh, just do this id will be the user dot user dot id so user object and this is member object and after that we're gonna save the data data to save okay then we're gonna catch it if there's any errors catch so that we all errors uh, message User the tag has been added to blacklist to to the blacklist to blacklist. Okay, let's just do this. Okay, so let's try it out. So I'll be blacklisting my alt account here. Okay, let's just wait for the bot to load. Why is the music working? Okay, so we're gonna do Y blacklist. So, oh, I added an S blacklist. Oh my god. What? Okay, user is not valid because I haven't specified anybody. So, Blacklist. I'm gonna add his ID. So recon test. Okay, if you open MongoDB and then you refresh it. Uh, give it a sec. Okay, it should show. Wait. Okay, it should show it. Blacklist. Then you can see his ID right here. This is the same thing with this. So it's added to database and if I try to add into the database again, it should say recon test has oh I need to return this. Uh return. Hmm. to put this in here I need to put this in here this I can just remove this, this is the so you just let me try this again why like this oh, let me just copy this you should say has been already been blacklisted so there should be only one yeah let me show you again Hopefully you can. it's gonna say that it's already been blacklisted so now we're gonna now I can still do commands because I haven't changed the message event so now let's go to index.js uh, come over to uh, async message this a message event then you want to find for oh after this message event and start a prefix you're just gonna do oh first we need to call the blacklist okay you can do it anywhere I'm, I'm just gonna do it here so we just can say oh we did the schema last time so uh yeah so you can do it anywhere we're just gonna do it here const blacklist equals require you want to get the models file models and then blacklist okay then you want to go down here after the prefix where's the prefix oh here so blacklist dot find one so it's finding and then uh message ID message the author the ID async 
error and do this. So if there's data, uh, let me just do if there's no data. So if there's no data, you just you can take on this, you're gonna cut it. Uh, cut it and then you're gonna paste it in here. Paste it in no data and then in here we're gonna say message child send. You have already been already been blacklisted. You are blacklisted. Let's just say you are blacklisted. You are blacklisted. Okay. So let's run again. So since there's data, this is my alt account user id so i shouldn't be able to run any commands what i help you are blacklisted yeah so if i remove this if i remove this wait let me just delete this real quick if i remove it i should be able to use commands yeah so this when my id is listed and this when my id is not listed so i'm gonna create command a new command to remove data from the database without you going to mongodb compass to remove it so blacklist uh, remove for js and then we're gonna do just gonna require the file again blacklist if they require uh, models and then blacklist yes and then Discord.js Dual.exports Name Blacklist Remove Run Ticket Asin Client Message Parts So In here we're gonna do the same thing So basically you can just copy it Because it's the same thing But we're gonna delete the data afterwards uh, okay. Just copy this if there's no user, and then we're just gonna change here. So, just gonna delete this and delete this so it should look like this. And then, mm, if there's data, we're gonna delete the data. Uh, like this, dot find one and, del and delete. Uh, ID user dot user user oh I need I need no my is fine user dot user dot ID and then we can cache error console dot log error and then um, message dot channel dot send Message dot channel dot send. Uh, just gonna do this. Make it bold. User dot user user display name has been removed from data from the date, uh from blacklist. And then else you're gonna say message dot channel dot send I'm just gonna do this copy this and then it's not it's not like list so basically if there's data we're gonna delete it and then we're gonna send that data has been removed and if there's no data we're just gonna say that there's no data so save it and then we'll run the file no, dot 
Okay, so currently there isn't any data. We're gonna add the data. Okay, so I'll show you using the bot command support. Hmm. Okay, wiping. Is wiping not working? Okay, wiping works. So basically, now my alt account can use commands. And oh, I forgot. You need to make this permission only for the bot owner. So you wouldn't allow other people to use this command. So in blacklist and blacklist remove, do this uh, if message ID is not equals to uh, this in this place you're gonna put your ID which is uh, type something which is this and then return message of channel was sent this is an own owner only command open mind and then just copy this just paste it here so the other users can't use this command to blacklist other people okay, so now I'm going to add it to mongodb okay so let's try okay I'll show you guys that I can't use the command blacklist this is an only on only on command so I'll show you again that I can use the command uh, like wiping, it should all work. And then when I blacklist the user, blacklist, and then put in this ID, and then recon test should work. Add it to blacklist, and then it should appear data here. Then when I go back to my alt account and try to run the command, it should say that I'm blacklisted. Yeah. Then, and then you can remove it by doing blacklist remove this and then it should remove message is not defined but it's 16 times 7 Teen mess oh I misspelled it oh no okay let's just do this again once the bot is out okay let's remove the blacklist. Okay. Recon Alex but okay. So <laughs> there's no data because I already removed it, but the message failed to send because I misspelled. Okay, let me just show you here. I'm just gonna blacklist myself. And then why uh pink it shouldn't work because I'm blacklisted and then if I blacklist remove the guy you should say Recon test will be removed from blacklist and there, there will be no data because it has already been removed and if the user isn't in blacklist and you use the command blacklist move this is for this bot and you should see that it's not blacklisted so that's about it for today's video if you have any errors or any questions, feel free to join our support Discord server. Links will be in the description. Other than that, have a great day. See you on the next video. Bye.